My name is John Paquette, I'm the writer on Resistance 3. I'm Cameron Christian, the senior designer on Resistance 3. Get down! They had just killed the hero, um, and they said, okay, now, now write a story about, you know, the next in the franchise. Um, but once I kind of, you know, looked at, at you know, the, the previous two games and, and kind of uh, understood the story and the, the, the chimera, um, then it became much more interesting to me, and, and Capelli turned into a, you know, a multi-dimensional character. Um, and then once we decided to give him a family, um, you know, that really hooked me in because, um, you know, there's not a lot of games out there that... The, the, the hero has a very personal stake in the story. Um, and, and that's really, you know, what, what I like about Capelli is that um, he's not just doing this because of, you know, duty or, you know, love for his country or something like that. It's a very personal motivation that he has. Um, and, and it allows, strangely enough, it allows people to connect with him more. Early on when, when we were, you know, designing the, the story um, and we knew we would have a multiplayer component, um, you know, we, we decided that we wanted to have um, these multiplayer maps take place all over the world because the story in Resistance 3, the main story is about traveling from Oklahoma to New York City. Um, but the, the, the world around uh, America is also under siege um, and, and there's small pockets of survivors trying to survive, you know, in, in other cities around the world. And, and, you know, putting the multiplayer maps there um, seemed like a, a great, you know, kind of synergy to use a corporate term. On, on design is like we wanted the player moving around a lot more we wanted him fighting these a lot a, a lot more strategic you know and especially now that you have the weapon wheel you know uh, you have a lot more options and so that early on like you know we have some big guys in there and they're not quite as big as the Leviathan um, but they move around much more and so you, you're constantly moving you're constantly having to adjust and figure out okay is this what I want to use for the weapon now and, and we have a couple bosses like that where you're moving around they're destroying the environment they're moving the environment and you just can't stay in one place long and yeah there, and there's more than one way to, to beat the creature so exactly. you know, um, it's the end of a trilogy you know like like Return of the Jedi um, but no Ewoks. That's my joke that I've been doing. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, we feel like it's the end of the story, uh, but then again, there can be more more game and more stories uh, to be told after that. The door's left open at the end. Um, but for us at Insomniac, we're, we're very happy with the way this one ended, and, and we feel like the trilogy, you know, can kind of stand on its own.